Namaste guys, Rajesh here and in this video I will be showing you how to move applications from internal storage to external storage on your Lenovo White K4 Note. Now unlike other Android devices, the process is not as simple and straightforward on the White K4 Note. After installing a micro SD card, you need to first set it as the default right disk and it is only after that that you will get the option to move apps to SD card. So let's get started. So first you need to head over to settings storage and then select SD card as your default drive disk. Now when you confirm your selection by tapping on OK, your device will reboot for the changes to take effect. Keep in mind that certain applications that you had already installed on the internal storage of your K4 Note will not work after you switch over to SD card as your default write disk. In my case, after switching to SD card as the default write disk, Microsoft Word stopped working and I had to download its associated app data again for it to start working. So once your K4 Note has booted back into Android, head over to settings again, followed by apps. Now open the listing of any application that you want to move to SD card. In my case, let me just move Rayman Adventures to SD card. And you will notice that I have this option of uh, move to SD card here. Now simply tap on it and the application will automatically be moved to SD card. Now if you will look closely, you will see that the total app size is 182 MB with 54.96 MB of the app data residing on the internal storage and the rest 127 MB residing on the external storage. This is how moving applications to external storage works on Android. Even if you move an app to external storage, it will continue to occupy some space on the internal storage of the handset and there is no workaround to this problem. Now also note that you cannot move all applications to external storage. So for example, I cannot move Shazam to the external storage of the YK4 node. This is because the application came pre-installed with the handset. But some other applications also don't support being moved to SD card and can act weird if you try to do so. So guys that's it for this video. Thanks for watching it. Do hit the like button below if you liked it and subscribe to our channel if you have not already done so.